Whoa. That is not 1100 watts. What's up everyone? Welcome to my review channel. So today we are reviewing this microwave. Now this thing is a microwave oven with grill and browning. Um, I actually didn't even know that feature was with it. Uh, basically what I did was found the cheapest or one of the cheapest high rated microwaves on Amazon and went with it and apparently it comes with all these options 11 powers 11 power levels for microwave cooking 9 pre-programmed recipes grill slash browning function 1 pure grill power level 2 combo power levels weight and time defrost child safe lock feature removable glass turntable wow Okay, let's get unboxing. I'll put a link in the video description where you guys can get this if you are interested. It is definitely really nice and stylish. Here she is. I love the little chrome around the display. So it is a bigger microwave, but it's definitely really nice. Um, as you can see the counter space, that's how much it takes up. So it's a little beast. So these are some of the options. All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. So pressing the six would be six minutes. When you open the door, it stops. When you close the door, it stays off. So what you then do is go start. It's definitely louder than our previous one by a lot. Definitely, definitely louder. All right, so one thing I've noticed is there's a high pitched sound coming somewhere from like right in here. Now you can hear it when I'm over here. It's just when I'm right here, at a certain position, I'll let it be quiet and see if you guys can hear it. Opening the door, it seems like it would be coming from this light bulb, or at least somewhere right in here. And now another thing I'm noticing, when we put it on, it smells like chemical really bad in here. Now I assume it's just because it's new. Um, and you know, when you first use something new, you always get some funky smells. You put new exhaust on, you put anything new. So what we're gonna do is we're going to actually run this for at least nine minutes. Um, but first we're gonna test out the watts right now. I'm a little mixed feelings on it. All right, so just plugged in, it's taken 0 0.4 watts, 0 0.5, 0 0.4. So almost a half a watt just to have the lights on. That's actually kind of why I put stuff on surge protectors because I always keep everything off. Um, that way you don't ever use any electric that you don't need. So let's go ahead. We're going to set it for nine minutes and we're going to see how much watts it's actually using. All right, 10 minutes we're gonna do.
Whoa. What? Whoa. That is not 1100 watts. That is 1682, 84. Which is causing the thing to blink because that's a lot of watts. So right there, this lied. 1100 watts is supposed to be um, Wow, that is interesting. So it's just playing around 1674, it's just playing around there. I'm not impressed at all with that. I wonder how many people actually stop and check. Wow, I can't believe that. All right, so it stopped blinking um, because it dropped under 1650. So when this hits 1650 watts, it blinks because that's a lot of watts running through. Um, so it's 1630, playing around there for a while now, but that's well over the 1100 that it's supposed to be. So I'm definitely not happy about that. Not quite sure what I want to do now. I mean, 1600 watts takes a nice amount of electricity, so I'm going to have to talk to talk with my wife and see what we want to do. So what I'm doing is I'm running it for 10 minutes. We're going to then add up how much kilowatts it's used, and then we're going to calculate that so we'll get an idea how much money it costs every time we run this for 10 minutes. Um, if it's not too bad, then we'll probably keep it if it's a lot more and it's going to add up then it's pointless you know I still don't like when companies lie when they say a product is a certain amount of wattage a lot of space heater companies do this they'll say oh it's a thousand watts maximum no higher it definitely gets annoying now I understand the higher watts um, you know it can heat your food faster and whatnot which is all great and fine and dandy but if something says 1100 watts that's what you expect um, so we'll see but we got three minutes left I'm gonna figure out how much it cost another thing to keep in mind I am definitely noticing this one gets extremely hot obviously where it vents but the back gets pretty warm as well in fact back right back here yeah definitely could burn your hand um, so yeah the whole thing is here's our other one so this is one we had you know you see you have the same event going on here and whatnot um, but the thing about this one it died by the way this one died and everything but it definitely didn't use as many watts as this one so I don't know we're just gonna figure it out see if it's worth it or not because what's the point in saving money on a um, microwave if when you actually start using it and you spend more in a year than if you would have just bought the cheaper microwave. So right now it's down to 1426 watts. So obviously the longer it goes, um, we've used 0 0.21 kilowatts. So we'll see. Alright guys, so after doing everything, having it on for, whew, yeah it definitely stinks, um, for 10 minutes. Smells not near as bad, so it is burning up whatever's in there. So I highly recommend you do it for 10 minutes, open the door for a while, do it another 10 minutes, um, and so forth. So this is why I do my videos, you know, stuff like this. I do it so you don't have to be lied to. I do it so you guys can know what's going on. So we did the math and it used almost 0 0.25, which the funny thing is it's actually using 19 watts when the door is open. So the light bulbs are definitely not efficient. When you close it, it drops down. You know, we are in a day and age where they can do efficient stuff, but the company 
clearly went cheaper and you know you get what you pay for as far as that kind of stuff goes so um, yeah you know 0 0.24 wasn't actually as bad as I thought there for a while I thought it was really gonna climb up so even at that high watts it comes out to let's say you use 0 0.25 every 10 minutes I think we did a little less than 10 minutes so let's actually just figure let's say you use 0 0.30 so 0 0.30 kilowatts every time you use it and let's say your energy is 10 cents a kilowatt so it ranges sometimes you know our electric is six cents sometimes it's 12 13 you know it depends on well it depends on the economy and so forth uh, I know back under Biden who oh, Biden a uh, back over Obama it was thir close to 13 cents so we're just gonna use 10 cents as an example and let's say you use this for an hour a day most people are not going to use their microwave an hour a day. At an hour a day, you're going to consume 0 0.30 kilowatts. And it's going to come out to $11 a year. So there you have it. You know, I think as long as this calculator I'm using is correct, um, which I need to make sure. Yeah, it, sh it should be correct. And if we use this for one hour a day, it comes out to, yeah. So it should be right. If you'd use one kilowatt, that would be like $36 a year. So anyway, it's going to come out to anywhere from 7 to $15 a year. Depends on how long you use it. So, or even cheaper than that. So, yes, with it running high w watts, from what it's actually supposed to be um, it's not gonna break the bank and it's not that big of a deal but we do this we go through the details the data for you guys and girls so you know yes they lied but the lie doesn't do that much harm yeah if you guys can find one that is consistent and actually legit that is 1100 you'll save a couple dollars a year you absolutely will over 10 years, you might save 100 bucks, $200 on your electricity over 10 years. You know, if you can find a cheaper one. So, with that being said, it's not that bad. You know, a lot of people say, well, you know, space heaters are a different story. A lot of people run space heaters at 8 hours a day that are 1,500 plus watts. So, that really adds up. But for like an hour, it's not that big of a deal. And that, you know, that's if you use the microwave for an hour a day. So, overall, I guess we can go and base off of this. There's, when I stand like right in here, depends on how my head is turned, I hear this high pitched frequency. I don't know, it's just when I'm about this distance from right in this corner. When I'm back here, nothing. Absolutely nothing. But for some reason, so that's a bit annoying because I know it's there. Um, but that's something that can be solved by simply doing this. So we have it on a surge protector anyway, all of our appliances. So problem solved. Um, so let's go over the meat. I know this is a long video and you guys probably, most probably stopped watching. But I like to do, when it's specific items that are really important I like to go into detail that is just who I am so style it definitely gets an 7.5 out of 10 it's very nice it's very big so because of that I give it I'm not too wild over that um, they say it's 1.2 cubic inch or something uh, but it definitely feels bigger in person so I'm not wild over that it's stylish it's nice Oh man, that it gets so hot inside. Oh my goodness. Wow. Like this plate, even though we turned it off that long, that plate, by just putting my hand that quick, actually burns my finger. And that's saying something. 
So, I actually do, this is actually good why I did all this. Do not, if you have a microwave now, and you're used to putting food in for five, six minutes, do not put it in for five or six minutes. This thing will heat it much quicker. That is something that, you know, I am definitely realizing right now. It gets hot in here. I mean, just extremely hot inside. Wow. So you definitely don't have to heat food as long. So you will actually probably use a little bit less electricity because once you get used to it, you're not going to be heating your food as long. And if you're not heating your food as long, you're not going to be using as many kilowatts. And if you don't use as many kilowatts, you're not um, spending more money on electricity. So overall, wow, um, definitely going to have to get used to that. It definitely gets hot everywhere back in here. I'm not wild over it being so close with everything, but we did run it 10 minutes and everything seemed fine. We don't really have a good place to put this where it's like open in the back, but I think it'll be fine right here. And I'm actually curious to see if it's bigger. I'll do that at the end of this video. So anyway, my final thoughts are 6.6 out of 10. Now, I would give it a higher rating, but that pitch sound, just annoys me, which I think it's the light bulb inside. That annoys me. The fact that they lied and it's much higher than 1100 watts. In fact, it did not even touch 1100 watts at all. The only time it touched 1100 watts or under was when it was like 10 seconds left and it turned off the heat. Um, that was it. So, not wild over that. That hurt the score. For the fact that it gets extremely hot around here, um, that hurts the score a little bit. So, with that 6.6, .6, it's a cheaper microwave. Got a lot of features with it. Um, but I'm happy with it. I wasn't in the beginning, and you guys could tell. A lot of stuff threw me off. That electric threw me off because I thought it was going to really climb up a lot more than it did. And it obviously would if you guys would use this more than an hour a day, then you would be. <laughs> but if you're using a microwave more than an hour a day, I, there might be a problem. <laughs> you know, most people, I would say, use a microwave 7 to anywhere from 7 to maybe 25 minutes a day. Maybe. I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that accurate? About 7 minutes for maybe a meal? Depends. Maybe less. But... Yeah, anyway, we're going to go ahead and put this on again. Like I said, definitely run it. And get that smell out. So run it, keep the door open for a little bit. Run it, keep the door open for a little bit. You want to get the chemical smell completely out before you use it. Okay guys, I know this was an extremely long review, but I had to give my honest thoughts on it. You know, I'm not a paid actor that, oh look, here we have such a stylish microwave. Oh, and just look at the plate spin around. There is no hesitation. And oh my goodness, it heats your food up like it's under a NASCAR heating from the exhaust. Oh, look at that. No, I'm not fake like that. I, I tell you how it is. I tell you my concerns while I'm filming, and then we solve them while I'm filming. So you guys go through the same thing because I am a real person. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey, thank you so much for watching my video and choosing to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Did you know I actually have multiple YouTube channels? So if you guys are interested, check out all my other YouTube channels if you are into other different content. So, up here, as you guys can see, it should be right up in here. These are my other YouTube channels spelled out. So just search them, and I appreciate it so much. Thank you guys so much for subscribing and checking out my other channels. You guys are the best, and you're the reason why I do this. So thank you so much for hitting that like button, hitting that subscribe button, and checking out my other channels. See you guys on the next video.